<laughs> Welcome to day two, boy, of Shandy's Halloween a Thought, man. If you missed day one, make sure you go ahead and check it out. But today we got something special in store for y'all. Today, I'm telling y'all, um, I'm about to get a special Halloween make. What the? What? Hold on. Y'all heard that? I know y'all. Oh, hell no. Let me see what the hell that is. What the hell? All this damn ruckus. Welcome to Shandy's Halloween Thon Day 2. So today we have a special, special, special surprise for you guys today. Chanel is going to attempt to do a makeover on me. Um, I am turning him to a creepy clown. Mm -hmm. Attempting. Yep. Attempting. But I think I'm going to do it. She probably hit it. Mm -hmm. this. Before we get started on this video, first off, make sure you watch the last video of our day one. Making creepy glow in the dark slime. Mm -hmm. We made slime and yeah. it glows in the dark. We know that. I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, it was creepy. Go check it out. Make sure you go watch that and make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below and subscribe for more videos and to continue with us on this marathon all the way up until Halloween. <laughs> we have some very fun thing plans and it only gets better. So we started off with the baby things and we go inch and inch and inch and inch and look at the end. So, make sure that you tune in for that. Let's go ahead and get into this fabulous video. So, I'm in costume, and soon Andy will be too. Alright, here we go. Oh, and my skirt lights up. She Can you this. see it? She loves this. Yes. Yes. Mm, yes, 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 yes. On your mark, get set. Check. Alright, so to pull off this clown look, at least attempt to pull off this clown look. You're gonna need a clown wig. You can get whatever color you want, but I got the colorful one because we're not doing Pennywise. You're going to need colorful makeup. So we grease makeup in white, fake flesh slash skin. You don't have to have this. It's only if you wanna be extra. Blender sponge, a spray bottle, pair of scissors, laminating paper that I have so it's thick and it's self stick and it's you can see through it for your glass. A couple squares of bathroom paper, fake blood. I got him a prop, which is this knife. And that's it. So I'm gonna just spray the sponge real quick. I think I wet y'all too. So first I'm going to start off with the grease makeup in white. I'm gonna use my blender sponge and apply it to his entire face. I'm really not going for a full white look. I'm going for a distressed type of white look, a type of clown that really don't know how to be a clown. So you gotta just put some stuff on his face. That's the look that I'm going for. <laughs> color palette and I'm going to take the white color and dab it on 
particular spots on his face that I want like swirls to be at and I'm gonna use the sponge to swirl it in actually I think I started using my finger because the sponge is getting on my nerve but yeah I'm just gonna swirl that in to make it even more uneven uh oh mess me okay now I am going to take my <laughs> brush <laughs> I'm gonna take my brush and I'm going to make triangles above his eyes and below his eyes. I use the blue and purple, but you can use any color that you want from your color palette. Um, just make sure that you have at least four colors because we're gonna need two new colors for the next step. So remember I told you to have those other two colors ready. This is where you're going to use them at. I used um, orange and red. I should have used yellow, but whatever. So you're just going to put one color at the top of the eyebrow and the other color at the bottom of the eyebrow. And I also drug out the eyebrow a little bit to make it very long and exaggerated um, because once again, he's a clown impersonating like he's an uh, he's impersonating a clown he's not really a clown guys he's a killer now I'm going to use yellow and make little circles um, on the edges of the triangle I'm gonna take my green and do the other eye and do some lines you can do circles lines squares whatever you want your clown fantasy go ahead and live it out right here then I'm going to take my red and do his lips Make sure that the curly lips, kind of like that curly guy's mustache. You're going to do a curly line all the way out, and then you're going <laughs> to fill in the actual lip, and then make sure that you're connecting the lip to the top line. He blew a kiss at y'all. Now I'm going to take my purple again and fill in the eyelids. I'm also going to do the same with the blue, just to connect it. I wanted to give his eyes a breather, so I did that last week. to cover that big old nose of his. I'm gonna do a red circle and then fill it in using my palette. Just fill it on in, just like that. You are cute. All right now, boo. Hey, look at check yourself out. Now I'm going to take my laminating paper. I'm gonna cut just a square. It doesn't have to be perfect. And from that square, I'm going to cut some triangles to make it look like shattered glass. Then I am going to stick it on his face in random places. They wouldn't really pop out how I wanted them to, and I didn't feel like actually going and getting glue so that it could pop out how I wanted to. So, oh well. Now I'm going to use this flesh stuff and my bathroom paper, also known as toilet paper. I'm gonna smush it together and then apply it to his face and remove the excess toilet paper from his face. Now I'm gonna take my blood and dab it on there like a dab ranch right up there to cover it up so it really looks like a wound. You can also use a little bit of white makeup to mix it in, but I didn't wanna do that. Then I'm gonna take blood and put it at the spots where the glass is just to make it look like he's bleeding. Now it's time for the wig. All you gotta do is put the wig on, folks. Not, not much left. <laughs> put the wig on. And then after the wig, I am going to take my bottle of blood and finish off this look by having dripping blood all over his face because he doesn't know how to clean himself up because he's a crazy clown. <laughs> and we're done, folks. Just like that. Ow. <laughs> That's it. How did I do? I think you did well, man. I'm just trying to talk right now. Yeah. You can talk. Well. Just, 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 <laughs> just paint. Do you feel like you like a crazy clown? Yeah, yeah. Look at all the details she got on here. Look at his cut. But yes, I think I did good. I like this wig. Oh my god, I need to wear this. But 
Let me know in the comments how you think I did. I look at the gray. He looks pretty crazy. Um, and let me know if you want me to turn him into something else for a different occasion, like a turkey or Santa Claus or somebody. I don't know. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel by hitting that red button down below if you haven't already. And make sure that you drop comments down below to let us know how we're doing or what you want us to do. And give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. This was my first time doing anything like this. So... Don't come for me, okay? Don't come for me. You ain't sent for you. Right. Yeah. So, it was our first time doing something like this. And uh, follow us on social media. Follow our joint account at LT underscore Shandy on Instagram and Snapchat. And follow me at Nellyville2Wise on Instagram and Nellyville2Wise and 2Es on Twitter. And follow him at CrazyClown at gmail.com. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Other than that, make sure that you stay tuned for the rest of our Halloween a thon because it's about to get lit from here on out. And I'm gonna let Andy go ahead and sign us out.